Another dry day in store across much of the Cooley region yet again. Now, not everybody is under these red flag warnings this time. However, it really doesn't matter if you're under these red flag warnings or not because it's still going to be very dry. But here are some of those locations that are highlighted there on your screen. 11 a.m. into 8 p.m. and 11 a.m. this morning to 8 p.m. today is when these red flag warnings will be in effect for those southerly winds, uh, very low relative humidity values, and of course, those temperatures well into the 80s here once again. Let's start with the first ingredient though, and you can see winds looking nice and calm for now. They will begin to pick up though as we head into those late morning hours, especially by this afternoon because here's around four o'clock and you can see that we will be talking about 15 to 20 mile per hour wind speeds there coming out of the south southwesterly direction. Here's eight o'clock and that's when we can expect the wind speeds to begin to subside by that point. Now not to mention too that our relative humidity values are definitely going to be quite low. They're starting off relatively high here now, but then they start to decline as we head into the late morning hours and then here's the afternoon around 4 p.m. and you can see that relative humidity values will be well into the 20 20 percentile ranges here today and it's very, very dry and the same could be really said here as we head into early this evening as well. Now, not to mention, we mentioned the temperatures here today, nothing record breaking necessarily, but you can see our highs today will be mainly into the low 80s with that high of 81 in Eau Claire today and a high of 82 in La Crosse this afternoon. So we have all the ingredients yet again here for another day of some fire weather concerns. As of right now, things are looking nice and quiet from City Cam 8 in downtown La Crosse, 59 degrees, lots of sunshine here. Meanwhile, to the north in Eau Claire, very sunny, 55 degrees this morning. Visibility looking good for that morning commute at 10 miles. Current, uh, current temperatures right now are into the 50s, 54 in Viroqua, much colder down in Boscobel. You're currently at 48, even colder than that in Black River Falls at 37, and Sparta right now is at 40 degrees. Heading into the day planner, 76, mostly sunny by noon today, 81 and mostly cloudy at 4 p.m. And then we're going to turn pretty cloudy, as a matter of fact, by 8 o'clock this evening. At the same time, temperatures will then drop in the 70s. Right now, we are looking clear, maybe a few clouds here and there. And as we forward into Sky Tracker, you'll notice that as the day wears on, it will be turning cloudier as we're watching a trough of low pressure. That's going to help increase the moisture here today across the area. And we do expect those cloudy skies to linger here as we head into tonight and also into early tomorrow morning. Now, heading into the rest of the day tomorrow, here's 10 o'clock, and you can see some scattered showers begin to affect portions of our western communities. That is going to move east into the afternoon. Four o'clock, we may get a break in the rain, but still relatively partly to mostly cloudy, however. And then by tomorrow night, another round of showers and storms begins to move through. So that's why our rain chances will be picking up as we're watching this next storm system move through. Some rain and some gusty conditions into Sunday. Temperatures much colder here, especially on Sunday with a high of 47. Highs in the 60s for much of next week, which is near average for this time of the year. Chances of thunderstorms storms mid to late next week as well.